How do you set up analytics in AEM forms? Answer to set up analytics in AEM forms. You can configure your form data and use the analytics dashboard to view and analyze your form submission data. What is the purpose of the forms portal in AEM forms? Answer, the forms portal in AEM forms allows users to access and manage their forms, workflows, and submissions in a centralized location. How do you set up the forms portal in AEM forms? Answer, to set up the forms portal in AEM forms, you can configure your form data and workflows and use the forms portal interface to manage and monitor your forms and submissions. What is the purpose of the form data model API in AEM forms? Answer, the form data model API in AEM forms allows users to access and manipulate their form data programmatically. How do you use the form data model API in AEM forms? Answer, to use the form data model API in AEM forms, you can create custom scripts or applications that interact with your form data and use the API to retrieve, update, or delete form data. What is the purpose of the form data model rules in AEM forms? Answer, the form data model rules in AEM forms allow users to define rules that validate and manipulate their form data. How do you create form data model rules in AEM forms? Answer, to create form data model rules in AEM forms, you can use the form data model editor to define rules that validate and manipulate your form data based on specific conditions. What is the purpose of the form fragments in AEM forms? Answer, the form fragments in AEM forms allow users to create reusable components that can be used across multiple forms, reducing the amount of duplicate work required to create forms. How do you create form fragments in AEM forms? Answer, to create form fragments in AEM forms, you can use the form fragment editor to define reusable components that can be used across multiple forms. What is the purpose of the rule editor in AEM forms? Answer, the rule editor in AEM forms allows users to define rules that specify the behavior and interactions of form elements. How do you create rules in the rule editor in AEM forms? Answer, to create rules in the rule editor in AEM forms, you can use a visual drag and drop interface to specify conditions, actions, and events for form elements. What is the purpose of the workflow designer in AEM forms? Answer, the workflow designer in AEM forms allows users to create and manage workflows that automate business processes related to form submission and processing. How do you create workflows in the workflow designer in AEM forms? Answer, to create workflows in the workflow designer in AEM forms, you can use a visual drag and drop interface to define the steps, conditions, and actions of your workflow. What is the purpose of the integration with Adobe Sign in AEM forms? Answer, the integration with Adobe Sign in AEM forms allows users to add digital signature capabilities to their forms, allowing users to sign and submit forms electronically. How do you set up integration with Adobe Sign in AEM Forms? Answer, to set up integration with Adobe Sign in AEM Forms, you can configure your form data and use the Adobe Sign API to add digital signature capabilities to your forms. What is the purpose of the mobile forms feature in AEM Forms? Answer, the mobile forms feature in AEM Forms allows users to create and deliver forms to mobile devices using features such as touchscreens and GPS. How do you create mobile forms in AEM Forms? Answer, to create mobile forms in AEM Forms, you can use the Adaptive Forms Designer to create forms that are optimized for mobile devices and use the Mobile Forms API to deliver the forms to mobile devices. What is the purpose of the Batch Forms feature in AEM Forms? Answer, the Batch Forms feature in AEM Forms allows users to automate the processing of large volumes of form submissions. How do you set up batch forms in AEM forms? Answer, to set up batch forms in AEM forms, you can use the batch data processor to create workflows that automate the processing of large volumes of form submissions. What is the purpose of the localization feature in AEM forms? Answer, the localization feature in AEM forms allows users to create forms that are localized for different languages and regions. How do you create localized forms in AEM forms? Answer, to create localized forms in AEM forms, you can use the Adaptive Forms Designer to create forms that are localized for different languages and regions and use the localization API to deliver the forms to different audiences. What is the purpose of the automated forms conversion feature in AEM forms? Answer, the automated forms conversion feature in AEM forms allows users to convert paper-based forms into digital forms using optical character recognition technology. How do you use the automated forms conversion feature in AEM forms? Answer, to use the automated forms conversion feature in AEM forms, you can use the forms conversion service to scan and convert paper-based forms into digital forms and use the adaptive forms designer to customize the digital forms. What is the purpose of the interactive communications feature in AEM forms? Answer, the interactive communications feature in AEM forms allows users to create 
and deliver personalized interactive communications such as letters, invoices, and statements. How do you create interactive communications in AEM forms? Answer to create interactive communications in AEM forms, you can use the interactive communications. Designer to create and customize templates for different types of communications and use the interactive communications API to deliver the communications to different audiences. Overall, AEM forms is a powerful tool for creating managing and processing digital forms and communications. LEM Forms offers a range of features and capabilities that can help organizations improve efficiency, productivity, and customer satisfaction. By leveraging these features and capabilities, organizations can create and deliver engaging, personalized experiences for their customers, employees, and partners.